Okay, it's my job to tell you about one more absolutely required plant you need in your garden. I can't tell you how much joy I get from this guy right here and this guy right here. So this plant is called Hedicium. It's not spelled how you think. It's H-E-D-Y-C-H-I-U-M. Hedicium or Hedicium or however you want to say it. Okay, um, the common name is, oh, there's Pumpkin again. There's Pumpkin again going crazy. He's a crazy guy. Go get him, Pumpkin. Sorry. Um, yeah, so Hedicium, uh, um, this is Cahilly Ginger. Pumpkin always tries to throw me off my beat. Hedicium Flavum. Now it's called Flavum because it has so much intense fragrance and flavor. So this plant comes from Asia, as do pretty much all the gingers. It's a type of ginger. You can actually eat the root on this thing, like a regular old ginger, right? And um, it's also one of the plants that like hopscotched across the Pacific with the Asian islanders who came from Asia and their little boats and they went from island to island to island. They brought all kinds of cool stuff with them. Like they even brought coconuts. They brought, um, uh, hibiscus, they brought ginger, they brought taro root, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay. Now we are here in California right now. This plant does fantastic. In fact, this plant is extremely hardy. It's extremely root hardy. So you can grow it in really cold locations. It'll die down to the ground in the winter time and then come shooting back up in spring. Um, now toward the end of the summer, uh, if you're in a warmer climate, it'll pretty much stay green all year except it kind of looks a little ratty in the winter anyway because it has a terminal growth pattern, meaning the plant grows up during spring and summer, and then it terminates with this most lovely yellow flower with red stamens in here. Okay, such a beautiful plant. And of course, it's an intensely fragrant, like one of the most fragrant plants that I know. Uh, and then it dries up. It's even pretty when it dries up. It has a really interesting pyramidal look to it. Um, but the great thing about this, it'll fragrance your garden, especially on warm nights, for whatever reason, on warm, humid nights, uh, fragrance just lingers more. It's wonderful. Leave the windows open. You can smell this inside our bedroom just from out here. However, if you cut off the flower and you bring it inside like we did here, this is a really big flower. This flower will fragrance your whole entire room so intensely and it'll give you the most wonderful dreams you've ever had. It'll help you sleep. Um, here's one from a few days past in water, still amazingly fragrant. Here's one that's uh, more fresh. This one's been in here for maybe like over a week. This one's been in here for about three or four days. And not only is it beautiful, but it's intensely fragrant. So I would think that this is a plant that every single person should have in their life. Seriously, it's gonna cost you like 35, 40 bucks to buy one of these things and then they'll multiply in your garden. You can give some to friends, spread the uh, joy. So come on down to Golden Gate Palms in Richmond and get one of these things. Hopefully we'll have them not be sold out. I'll try my hardest. Thanks a lot and have a great day.